Welcome, fellow adventurers. I'm Michael, the Graph Paper Architect. And on this episode, I'd like to talk to you a little bit about artwork. Now, we understand that artwork is extremely important to your design. It's going to be conveying elements of your story and things that you're not even conveying in your writing at all. It will draw in your audience and it will generate sales and it will really make your product absolutely fantastic and wonderful and beautiful. Now, there are a couple of things here that I'd like to talk about that probably aren't really discussed when you're talking about how, what kind of artwork you're going to choose or what you're going to be doing. And as you can see here, I've got uh, Julie Bell, one of my favorite artists right here. And she talks about this 48 by 60 oil painting. Now, I want you to take a look at that painting for a minute. Just look at it. That That's a painting. That's an oil painting i i had to do a double take i saw this on my feed and I, I looked at this and went that's a photograph wait a minute it's a that's a painting pretty amazing stuff isn't it and these are some of the things that i wanted to bring up in this episode because it's just a consideration of sort of the landscape that we have today as far as artwork is concerned you know today of course we're dealing with having artwork that is made by people like Julie Bell here. And then now we also have AI generated artwork that uh, you can plug in a prompt into the computer and it will spit out over and over and over again. And the better it gets at it is, you know, it's exponential. It constantly just improves upon itself and it improves upon what's going on. And it's just all AI generated. Now, some of the considerations as far as that and being a designer is of course you know what is it that you want to have as part of your team do you want to bring in an artist can you afford to bring in an artist are you willing to create a contract like the ones that we use that artists retain rights to their work and artists are part of the creative process you know these are things that you need to consider as a designer and part of that consideration i wanted to bring up is the human element you know the human element is the one where we begin to realize that as designers and as creators, we're trying to pay our bills with what we create. You know, we're trying to provide for our families with what we create. It comes from us and through us and into a medium, just like Julie here has done in oil and canvas. And you consider how many thousands and thousands of times and hours and, and, uh, canvases she went through to get this good to be at this level or you know and for us of course as a designer i'm mostly a writer so i write and create and design and storyboard and world build and i'm constantly coming up with ideas and i do some artwork of course it's nowhere near julie bell but these are the things that i do and all these revisions and revisions and months and months of time go by now you could go to chat GPT nowadays and plug in a prompt and it could start giving you all kinds of stuff and it might actually be decent stuff, but is that really going to help someone like me pay my bills? <laughs> Probably not. You know, it's some of these things that I wanted to bring to your attention as a designer, maybe you're a company that's considering hiring a designer and uh, you're looking at whether or not you want to use AI art versus actual person art like this here and uh, just something to think about you know because we're here to learn how to create and we're also discussing the art of creation the act of creation and then also other elements of that is the human element you know what do we do as designers and what choices do we make as designers to decide that this is a community that we want to support this is a art this is something that we want to help bring to the world, and it becomes a complete art form with the writing, with the imagery, with uh, all of the different elements that come together to form a complete piece of art, not just, of course, the art on the box. I mean, the actual game itself, I believe, in my opinion, is a piece of art, and we're trying to create that and have that be our business and our livelihood. Those are just some of the thoughts I had this morning when I looked at this, as well as I just, I love Tigers and uh, Julie Bell's artwork. So I wanted to bring that to everyone's attention and just sort of get your mind going, thinking about it. You know, these are some of the things to consider 
as well as, you know, of course, the normal design elements of lining up all the different artists, seeing what they have, see what they bring to the table. And then as a designer as well, how do you verify that an artist is actually the artist and not bringing you AI work or bringing you something that they didn't do? You know, because... In our you know day and age, of course, we have people that want to vote with their dollars, and we want to vote for a company that has real person art, or we want to you know buy other art products that don't have real person art, and we may want to ask, well, how do you verify this? How do you know this? Well, you know, there's going to be some considerations there, so you might want to consider how you're going to be able to get that information from an artist, and then of course, what kind of contract you'll enter into. But that was my ideas on art. Wanted to share that with everybody. I hope you're having a wonderful day. And, uh, well, thanks for tuning in. Until next time, friends, good journey.